Hello and welcome to Let's Play Myst 5 End of Ages. Yes, it's time to resume our journey through the Ages of Myst, and this time I will play the fifth and final game. Myst 5 has quite a few flaws, and it's probably my least favorite Myst game. Which doesn't mean I don't like it, it's after all still a Myst game. But the reason I'm playing this game now, and not any of the others of the series, is because Myst 5's story continues from where Uru left off. So it makes a lot of sense to do this one now, while we've still got Uru fresh in our minds. So let's uh, begin with the introduction. You see already using two uh, games to prepare for these recordings, so we're going to be player three. My journey has come to an end. I have lost my home, my books, my sons. I've lost my father and my grandmother. My dear wife, Catherine. And now I fear my only daughter is gone as well. And for what? For the slimmest hope that things could be put right. What began as my tedious life in the cleft. Holding out hope for more has returned to the same. I've gone to great lengths to watch the end be written, and now, now I find myself alone in a sandstorm in Tomana, waiting for a single grain of sand to fall. Dunny's future is like an hourglass. As the final grain slips through, I wait and I tremble, losing hope that the hourglass will be turned over once again. The age may just simply end, Expended and lifeless. I have passed my cursed burden onto my cherished daughter, Isha. She has either understood and embraced it, or the weight of it has crushed her. I fear it has been far too long. My hope has waned. If Isha has failed, is anyone left who can understand? Oh, I am old and so tired. And once again, I am useless. Today, I will put an end to my useless waiting and go on to a better place. Okay, that was the introduction. Atris didn't sound very uh, happy. In fact, he sounded positively dejected. And he was talking about his burden of uh, restoring the Dunny civilization, which he passed on to Yisha, who has uh, embraced that burden. And in uh, Uru, we found out that Yisha is in fact the grower, the one who will restore Dunny. So it seems that that was the right choice. But uh, not everything is going as good as it uh, as it may sound, as it may have seemed at the end of uh, Uru, as we'll see soon. Uh, we see here at first, Miss 5 defaults to classic mode navigation, a simple point and click interface. Click on the options icon for additional settings. Okay. We begin in a familiar location. Kavir. We just saw some Baro, apparently startled by our presence. They linked out. Oh, and it looks somewhat. Uh, Seismically unstable here. Well, as the dialogue said, it defaults to classic mode navigation, which basically works the same way as the first four missed games. It means I point somewhere and I click and I move to another location. But because this game is still uh, real-time 3D, much like Uru, 
we can actually see ourselves move to these new locations. And quite frankly, I don't like this style of movement at all. In uh, in Riven and in Mist and even in uh, Mist 3 and Mist 4, which also had the 360 degree freedom, you could sort of buy the fact that in between the still images the player was actually walking there, but here you just sort of glide over and I don't buy it. This doesn't look like walking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the options and switch the controls to free move. Also going to make sure that the subtitles are enabled to make uh, the character dialogue in this game a little bit easier to follow. Okay, now that I've switched to uh, free move, I can look around freely and walk around freely anywhere I like. Well, so we're obviously in Kavir, but the question is when are we and who are we? And this may seem a simple question, but the answer is complicated and somewhat surprising. This game follows on Uru, as I said before. And really, they should have just called it Uru 2, because this game has much more to do with Uru than it uh, has with Myst. Probably they just called it Myst 5 for marketing reasons. Which means, of course, that this game does not take place in the same time frame as the first four Myst games, but it takes place about two centuries later, just like Uru, in the present day which is, I think, 2005 for when this game was released. This also means that we cannot be the anonymous stranger who helped Atrus in the first four Myst games, because he'd probably be long dead by now. It also means that we cannot uh, be ourselves, as in Uru. Well, actually, we could be. And the game definitely doesn't give you any... Um, any indications as to who you are, so it's really uh, normal to assume that you would be playing yourself as you would be in Uru. However, it's not actually the case, because some information coming from Cyan Worlds, actually from a chat log from, uh, I think, Until Uru, which is the uh, uh, short-lived revival of Uru Life, the online portion of Uru, in which it was stated that Dr. Watson did the things that we, the player, do in uh, in NIST 5. I can't really be any more specific than that, because it would give away the ending. This would suggest that Dr. Watson is, in fact, the protagonist and the player character of NIST 5, so we are now playing Dr. Watson from the Dunya Restoration Council, and not ourselves. Whether you choose to believe this and accept it, I don't know, I don't care. I'm gonna go under the uh, assumption that we are in fact Dr. Watson, but I'm not gonna mention it very often either. Mostly I'll just be speaking in uh, first person anyway, so we could also just say that it's me. It doesn't really matter all that much, because as I said, the game itself makes no reference to it. I can't really uh, share the evidence I have for the player being Dr. Watson, because, as I said, it would give away the ending. However, after I finish this Let's Play, I will put up a link from where I got uh, the information that we are, in fact, playing as Dr. Watson. But that will have to wait until the end. Okay. Well, I wasted the entire video just explaining all of this. So, I'll uh, look around here in the next video.